أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على شف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We are reaching the tenth day one third of Ramadan is gone and while we are trying to follow in the footsteps of the Prophet والسلام, and we spoke about this uh, the first days when we were talking about this relationship with nature this testimony that there is one God and then we talked about justice we talked about serving the people and solidarity and reconciling and we talked also about something which was essential in the message when it came to the way he was before which is based on trust uh, uh, worthy uh, ness when we spoke about being truthful and truthfulness this is the way he was and this is what was about uh, the message and then uh, Allah God sent Jibreel alayhi salam, and this was confirmed and yet if you look at his life when he got the first message he came back and what he found is people rejecting him people criticizing him people being against him while he came to serve and what we were talking about is reconciling the people and and and, and everything was about this uh, uh, somebody who had good characters and coming with a, a message of truth and he came to the people and what he got is rejection and 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 criticism and people saying no that's not going to happen that's not going why because there are two things that we need to know the people are not going to he was facing two uh, uh, characteristics in the, his tribe and the people of Ahl Quraysh first this kind of deafness that they were not able to listen because he was going to change all the structure all the values of the past and second is about the authority is people being scared that oh he's going to change everything and what he's doing is for the sake of uh, power so deafness not able to uh, to to listen and then fear and this is what pushed them to reject him and he came and he was patient and he was uh, repeating and repeating again and, and this is what we need to get while you are fasting today when we are all fasting today as Muslims what is what we do we find in this message that can be scary it's all about uh, self-control mastering ourselves caring about ourselves not going to, uh, not uh, uh, to go too far in anything which has to do with you know uh, uh, dependence you know uh, uh, addiction and this is all this is what fasting means is just master yourself know what are the essential principles of your life and be uh, someone who in the name of God do what is good and try to change the world for the better while you will get and especially in the world now it's a cultural consumerism it's consumption that you will have people say that could be a problem because if the muslims through this months of fasting are resisting that they are against this order of profit and uh, uh, consumption if and only if we as muslims we are strict and we rely on our principles we don't transform ramadan into uh, consumption eating more meat eating more food as it happens now we have to be strict with our principles we have to come to this and we understand that we are going to be resistant to an order where everything is about producing addictions while we are freeing people from any type of addictions this is what Islam is all about la ilaha illallah no other master but him and I'm resisting all kinds of addictions and you're not going to make the people all happy so you have to face rejection you have to, to face criticism and you need to face uh, these criticism with your faith with your reason and with your wisdom because this is the way it is and especially during Ramadan, with wisdom we fast and with wisdom we respond. Inshallah. Never forget, remember, remember, never forget to tell the people you love that you love them. Life is fragile. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.